Hey guys, I hope you're all having a really great day. I'm going to do a book review today. I haven't done a book review yet and I've been wanting to start getting into more book reviews and so I'm just going to give it a go and see how it goes. Today I'm going to review Dear Zoe by Philip Beard. Dear Zoe is a young adult novel written from the perspective of 15 year old Tess whose three year old sister Zoe is killed in a hit and run accident on September 11th. So while the rest of the country is mourning the loss of thousands of people in the terrorist attacks on New York City and Washington, Tessa's family is dealing with the loss of the youngest member of their family. The novel itself is written in the form of a letter from Tess to Zoe. It basically documents their lives in the six months or so leading up to the one year anniversary of Zoe's death. It's a really beautiful coming of age novel about a girl who's really had to grow up too quickly because her family just can't really deal with the situation that's happened. I think that the story was really well executed. Sometimes I think it's hard for authors to grasp the mood of a situation this dark and I think Philip Beard did a really good job of making the reader understand that this family is still dealing with this and that they may be dealing with it for a really long time. Since it was written in a letter form, you really get the voice of Tess through the novel. She's a 15 year old girl and her grammar is not perfect and the author really captured the voice of a 15 year old girl. It wasn't perfect by any means. There were sentences that were run-ons and there was a lot of times where punctuation and capitalization was left out and I just think that that is very smart on the author's part to do something like that because obviously Tess isn't going to be thinking about perfect grammar when she's writing this letter to her sister. As for the characters, I think Tess is a fantastic narrator. She developed really well throughout the course of the novel and you see her kind of come to terms with what has happened to her and what has happened to her family and you watch her kind of grow up and accept that something terrible has happened but they have to stay strong together. As for the other characters, I really liked her dad a lot. Her parents aren't married and Zoe is actually only her half-sister. At one point in the novel she goes to live with her father and those bits of the book were probably some of my favorites because the interactions she had with her dad were really kind of funny and they were a little bit lighter compared to the rest of the book and I think that it was very smart of the author to include those parts in there too. I didn't really care much for her mom or her stepdad, but we didn't really get to see them a whole lot, especially her stepdad. Her mom was in it a little bit, and I thought that I was really going to like her mom's character, but she did something in the middle of the book that really just made me not like her that much. I really wish that we could have seen more of Tessa's other sister, Emily. She didn't really get to be in the novel all that much. And I was kind of disappointed about that. I wanted to see Tessa's interaction with her other sister and um, the little bits of piece and pieces that we did get with Emily were really, really nice. They were really beautiful and it kind of broke my heart a little bit every time I got to read Emily's thoughts. I wanted more of her. That, I mean, that's just the simple fact of it. The development of the whole novel was really, really nice. And I think that by the end, I was really, really pleased with how the family was dealing with their loss and how they were planning to move on from it. And while I know you can never move on from a loss like that, you can at least deal with it. And they really started to do that. I was worried for a little bit that it wasn't going to come out the way that I wanted it to, but it definitely did. Overall, I think this was a very beautiful book and I'm glad that I read it. The author really, really captured the story in a way that I don't know if many authors could. Overall, I gave this book four out of five stars and I definitely recommend it to anybody who is looking for a quick read that is maybe not as light as they want it to be, but definitely isn't super heavy. So that's it guys. That's my review on Dear Zoe and if you have any tips for how I can improve on book reviews, please let me know because I know this review probably was really terrible. <laughs> But I know that I have to start doing it sometime and might as well go for it. I'll see you guys really soon with another video. Bye!